five, six, seven, eight. Welcome to More Than Dancers. My name is Livia, and today I will be showing you seven tips of how to care for your point shoes. Tip number one, purchase a stitch kit so that you can sew your point shoes properly. In this stitch kit, there is thick thread and there is a thick needle so that the elastics and ribbons will not come undone when you wear them. I got mine at my local dance studio. Tip number two, sew your point shoe ribbons and elastic as close to the top as you can. I will do a more in-depth video about this later, but for sake of time, I'll just show you a couple tips today. When I get my point shoes, I like to take the drawstring and pull it as tight as I need it so that I can sew the ribbons on the drawstring because I will not be using it and it will support my arch more. If you're not sure how tight you need your drawstring, make sure that you don't sew the ribbons on top of it so that you can still use it later. Tip number three, burn the end of your point shoe ribbon so that they do not fray like this. Make sure that you are very careful when you do this and you can have your parent do it if you are scared. Do not hold the flame directly on the ribbon. Just hold it close enough to seal the ends. Tip number four, let your point shoes dry out at the end of the day so that they will last longer. One way to do this is by buying a mesh bag and setting it outside of your dance bag, or you can take your point shoes and hang them on the end of your bed. Tip number five, have two pairs of point shoes so that you can rotate them throughout the week. By doing this, this allows the first pair to fully dry out while you are dancing on the second pair and vice versa. It is very important to let your shoes dry out because when you are working hard, you are sweating, which means your shoes get wet. Tip number six, do not buy too many pairs of point shoes in the beginning. When you first start off, you are in more of beginner shoes and you will get to more advanced shoes as you progress in your training. Your feet are still growing and the style of shoe that you wear could change over time, so it's important to experiment with many brands before you get set on your brand. Tip number seven, alternate your shoes so that they will last longer. Thanks for checking out this video. I hope that you found it helpful. See you next time.